In preparation for the upcoming rugby season, the Tieta Cheetahs bolstered their squad with the signings of Munir Hatzenberg, Marku Janssen van Rensburg, Friedel Willifield and the returning wing Tapiwa Mafura. We caught up with the new additions at a recent training session as they introduced themselves and told us what they brought to the team. Hi, my name is Munir Hatzenberg. I come from Mannenberg in Cape Town. I went to the Leadership College and played for Manenberg Rangers for a time, then went to Stellenbosch University, played for Martins for a couple of years, and then found myself at the Greek Wars and currently at Cheetahs. My name is Tapio Mafura. I come from Ermelo, and my previous team is the Pumas. Hi, my name is Marco Janssen van Rensburg. I am originally from Van der Bell Park in the Gauteng area, but we moved to the West Coast when I was quite young, went to school there. Went to Stellenbosch University, played one year under coach Harvey's when he started coaching Marty's. After that, uh, went to the Pumas for four years. And then the last two seasons I spent uh, playing for rugby ATL in the MLR. Okay, I'm Friedel Willifier. I come from Springs, uh, grew up there and then moved to the Falke where I played nine years. And then I had a two year stint in Russia. I must say it's quite different to Cape Town and Kimberley. Um, the CBD is quite busy. Um, like fortunately, I stay a bit out of uh, the CBD, so it's more chilled, quiet, and serene. Yeah. I must say I'm loving it. When we moved here, it was a smooth transition compared to last time. It was raining and everything got wet, so I'm really loving Bloemfontein. I love the weather and glad to be back. No, it's very nice. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice adjustment from Russia. And my family is also loving it. Children is enjoying the school, so no, we, we're loving Bloom at the moment. Uh, I heard Inka saying previously there's, there's no traffic, so I must agree with him. It's nice and quiet and you get around quickly, so it's very nice. Well, what I've experienced so far is that people are really friendly and it's quite a chilled, uh, chilled city, so I'm looking forward to, to that, yeah. I think I bring uh, speed and I think my strength would be my personality. I think uh, I'm a likeable person and uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to get going in the season. Uh, as a hooker, I'm pretty confident in my line-out throwing abilities as well as uh, my ball carrying skills. Um, I also back myself uh, to have pretty decent hands and I think of myself as quite a team man as well. So always uh, bringing a few laughs uh, to the boys. I would say I bring a vibe and uh, uh, basically energy and physicality and I would say my, one of my strengths is my ball carrying ability. My strengths are, I would say, speed, uh, physicality and uh, continuous work on would be high ball. So yeah, it's quite good in high balls. <laughs> uh, it's very exciting. I think playing with guys like that is something that uh, not uh, an everyday thing. You get to learn a lot and I'm very privileged and I can't wait to play with them. I mean, there's always something to learn from them. They've been around the block for a whole amount of years since I was young. So it's a real honor to actually share the field with them. And uh, I'm just open to learn from them. Whatever advice they, they can give me, I'll take open-mindedly. Yeah. The experience they give out, uh, down to you, it's, it's nice. It's, at any age, you can still learn something new from them. So it's nice to, to have them in the group. It's nice to learn from them. You get here, yeah, they're welcoming, they're loving, they, they pull you into the group, they make you part of everything. So it's very nice to experience that. So I played against them when I played in the Curry Cup for, for the Pumas. Um, and it's good to be on their side this time around. Really looking forward to play with them and learn from all the experience. My hopes would be to uh, complete the competition, to win the Toyota Challenge, then get the Curry Cup and the uh, EPRC as well. So it's going to be a big task, but I believe we can do it. And my, the rest of my dreams are actually to don the green and gold. And um, yeah, and they have to look to play some overseas rugby, you know? Um, so yeah. And I'd say that my hopes and dreams are to help the team win uh, more trophies in the competitions that are coming. and. You can only do that by scoring tries and yeah, I'm looking forward to the season. Well, firstly at this moment I'm working hard and hoping to, to be part of the group that goes to Europe. And then for the rest of the year, obviously I think that is the most of the, tree, the, the team's vision is to go to Europe and dominate and to, to show the people what Freistad Rugby is about. You know, at the moment, just training hard, working really hard to be part of the squad, really looking forward to possibly travelling to Europe at the end of the year to see what we can do on a bigger stage against uh, French and European teams. So at the moment, really working hard, 
my dreams for this year is definitely uh, get some silverware. Uh, that would be great. Bring some silverware back to Bloemfontein. Wow!